Hey, welcome back to Dominican Rendezvous. Thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing this video and all the other videos to those that you know may be interested in learning a little bit more about the Dominican Republic, especially to those who are contemplating not only visiting, but considering a long-term expectation ex expatriation, if you will, to the Dominican Republic, those of you thinking to, to move uh, more permanently to the Dominican Republic. And so here I am just trying to um, highlight some interesting aspects that I have found in my time and trips to the Dominican Republic that I hope that you too will take time to search out and enjoy and learn and experience um, some of these cultural attributes of the wonderful country, the Dominican Republic. Now today, the topic as you can see is called cock fighting. The local chicken fights that you will see in some of the arenas around the cities um, in uh, the Dominican Republic, um, in the places where, I, or I should say, in the place where I stay, which is located quite near the U.S. Embassy, there's actually a a local uh, cockfighting arena, um, and this is a working class neighborhood, so you'll see these cockfighting arenas all littered over the place, and they are basically um, just a little, I don't know how to really put it, a little uh, covered, in most cases, arena uh, with chairs around a circle, so to speak, and they are pinned in, the two roosters that are fighting are pinned in on this floor called the Galera. And this whole nuance, or I should say this whole um, experience is something that is really not looked down upon in the Dominican Republic as it is in other places. There are other countries uh, that do cockfighting as well, but in the Dominican Republic, I've come to find out that it is looked upon as uh, something that promotes that warrior-like spirit. Um, it is um, very well known throughout the Dominican Republic that the cockfighting is for the most part a age-old tradition. It is something that is legal for the most part and is tolerated and you will see all kinds of uh, men generally uh, from all classes generally going to the cockfighting. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Um, but there are predominantly, predominantly men uh, found in the arena whistling and cheering on and chanting in a frenzy uh, their particular chicken that they're betting on. Uh, most women don't like it. Uh, most women probably wouldn't go to it and probably many think of it as uh, mistreatment of animals. So it's certainly a man's world there at the cockfighting arena. Now, the chickens are raised and uh, tended to by caretakers. They put on these little spurs on the uh, back legs or the legs of the chicken, I should say, and uh, they are very, very sharp and they are designed to do some damage uh, once that chicken gets into uh, to action. Now, I'm not going to go into any graphic detail. Um, the first time you get there, you may be a little queasy, uh, but after a while, I think you will get used to it if that's something that you want to experience. The losing chicken, it's dead meat, basically. Uh, and in some cases, it is said that they take it out and then they, they go cook it up and eat it. Um, and again, I don't want to be too graphic or too morbid, but uh, that it is. And it is it's a sport. It is a, it is a age-old tradition in the Dominican Republic and nothing more than that. Um, so... You know, for some of you, perhaps animal rights activists uh, may not like this. Um, it is what it is, as they said, or as it is said, and cockfighting is just a sport, uh, another sport in the Dominican Republic. So by all means, look them up, um, ask around, um, 
go to one if you're um, able and willing. I would suggest that you take someone with you who knows the community, knows the area. I wouldn't have ventured in there um, alone per se. Well, you can, uh, but I think it's better to take a local, a Dominican uh, with you uh, just for your own protection, your own safety, as well as to explain, uh, you know, a little bit of the nuances and what's going on in the whole arena and the event itself and how the betting is done, the payments are paid out, um, how the, uh, the cocks are prepared, um, just all that. It's just it's a very interesting uh, cultural learning experience. And so I hope you will take advantage of an opportunity, if you have one, to go and see the cockfights in the Dominican Republic. From me to you, Dominican Rendezvous.